Hello and welcome to another impromptu bowling session. And we are coming from Putnam Street Lanes because my father actually wanted to try out my buddy's place, but unfortunately he was closed. We're in a neighborhood, so we're here at Putnam's. So we went from a very easy place to the easiest place, and per usual he's got, got it so I start and he follows after. So let's see how things are, and we will return to Brian's. This was actually a late birthday. Give him a chance to see a place that he was interested in looking at. Things didn't turn out. So we'll be back to Brian's, like I said, the next time Dad and I bowl. And speaking of, he's, like I said, he's got me going first. Let's start watching how things fall apart. And I was a gutter ball, so seven. And it's the usual terms, unless we're tired. Four games. Move the camera a little bit. We're on the, we're on the end, so it's hard to put it at a good angle. They even narrowed the footprint. an eight or a nine. Bowling God's middle finger for nine. That was a good ball, just not good enough. That's looking pretty good. Ooh, too full. Spread eagle and a wing broken off. Six. Yeah, you might want to reduce your height because the lane tilts off the God's middle finger for nine. I tell you, when I play against my father, I just can't. <laughs> hey, the pressure's off. I've wanted to win more than one meet, and I did. Half a Worcester and a friend.
That's a three. Don't look any better than me. Another I nine. Can't blame my sore eyes. Blame sore and per usual, for halftime reports, I'll just tell you what it is. It's a pain in the butt to recenter the phone whenever it moves. During the finals, we'll take it off. Missed it within an inch, if even that, twice. And it's a five. So far, seven, eight, nine, nine, eight for a 38 and a half. He keeps forgetting about the floor that tilts left. Brian's, their, fair, their lanes are fairly straight, so he doesn't have that much to worry about. Just an eight, nine, ten. No. And I proved the and I proved in the last video when they let us go up and remove the wood that there's no odd look to the pin plate, so he does not juice. His half nine six three nine nine for thirty six. He's catching up and we'll do what he usually does. a skill shot for a spare. That. Yeah, like I said, unless it's a turkey animation, I'm not going to take the phone off. We've all seen him if you've watched. Not bad. Oh, there it went. He's got the Kaliri right and the seven. Hit it just where he, yeah, exactly where he wanted it, just did not take. And I forget to aim towards the right instead of the left where the obvious points are. He's got a six.
one fell right out. You just wanted to give me a chance. That's a Kaleri without the seven pin. Seven. But you're telling me how easy it is. That's because you and I are playing, so everything goes worse. And did we forget to record stuff? Uh, hold on here. I got a spare than I got. Yeah, we set with zero on the spare. Yeah, okay, so he put the zero in. He came up 48. Yeah, 10 is 48. Oh, he's looking for the seven. Uh, for the seven now. Yeah. He didn't register the seven. Or it did. I don't know. Put in the zero then this. No, something screwed I, up. This system has done that to me before. Yeah, it should be a zero. Is it the number zero? The number zero, that's not it. And then that's the seven. There we go. Scores corrected. I hit O instead of zero. All right, it was a human error, and it wasn't mine. He thought the letter O was the zero. It kind of does look like a zero. He's got the left side. And he's got a little of the right side. He's got seven. Six. Six. Okay, I couldn't see it. Move the camera a little bit. So El Stinko lived up to its reputation. tilts left. He keeps hooking the ball left. That's why everything goes way left here. And he's halfway to Worcester. This is a, Brian does really keep his lanes up. They're per, almost perfectly straight. Oh, that was a good one. And oh, no. This place, a slow pin could have done it. And nine it is. I, I hit it.
And a six. I need one. I got one more frame. I need two just to hit mediocre. I'm telling you, I bulk against my father. I just cannot. There we go. Uh, then spread eagle with a broken wing. He gets a head pin, but too direct. Nope. That should do something. And six. No, I didn't. And for this place, not a very good game. It is in the land of mediocrity, at least. I think you're too used to Brian's. He's at least got five. Needs two more from mediocrity. And he won't get it. That's a fiver. Which I hit. Now let's see what happens. Yeah, kind of crappy and El Stinko truly lived up to its name. And my father hit the O instead of zero and the score was messed up slightly. 76-68. For this place, the 76 kind of sucks. It's going to the computer. Yeah, we were wondering if there was a way to alternate turns. Here, no. We're stuck with the turn the way it is. Me first. Nicely delivered ball for the spare. Now we just need the bonus ball to not go in the gutter. That's a good one. Too thin. But the action here, usually that, sometimes it doesn't matter. He's got the double wood, or as we call it here, the reverse half whisker left. Uh oh. Good, it didn't take anything. And you got nine. This time I'm paying attention. It's time for El Stinko the bonus ball. Will it wind up in the gutter like the first one?
and an R86. He's not used to this. The other auto semi-automatic that we've been to was French King. Well, if it were zero contact, that would have been a winner. Okay, at least we got seven. Seven. Stink frame of three, ruining that spare. Still, the score as a whole is not too bad. hard to see in the video. And that's a five. And since it's 1080p, stop and start at this point. And we're back. Father well, forgot to hit the reset button. That's the 
kingpin standing for a nine. It's hard to tell in the video. The one that looks darker is the kingpin because it's further away from the light. the half, I got the spare with a six fill, then a nine, three to ruin it, and a pair of nines for a 46. And bowling guard's middle finger for nine. Nine, seven, eight, five, nine for 38. with a new palace right. And shot actually went where I wanted it. Well, several have for the spare. Faster, but throw comfortably. Don't go for that. Stayed on. My buddy Dave says, "Don't try to whip it. Just throw it as comfortable as you can." There we go. Eight. Stinko delivered us an already five, but it stinks because we got the Kaliri on the left. This is more of a normal Putnam game. And he's got the four three horsemen left. <laughs> That's how I look at it. Duck soup, but look what will happen. Not in this case. Hey, there we go. The old horse one. Spare. Again, single pin, and I actually hit what I aimed for. Alright, so it's at least going to be a good game so long as in the next two frames I can get one pin. I cleared the back row, except for one of them. Yeah, I'm paying too much attention to the action and not the scoring. I'm trying to figure out why am I slipping on the scoring as of late for the past several months. And Last minute fall there. Last minute fall there. 
Time for El Stinko the bonus ball. And see, now I'm paying attention to the score as well. What will the bonus be? Stinko stunk. The fill was okay, but look at that. The the spread eagle with a broken wing and a piece of wood. frame I need nine of them for the blunk 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 nonetheless it's at least average according to ICBA standards average casual league bowler gets 90 and of course most people are within 10 points of their average. Oh no. Now I did. And it didn't save. I hit it again. It didn't save. Oh, maybe if I hit the one that's on the right side, that might help. Stink frame of four to make sure a hundred is not a thing. A spare and then a strike. Which would just get you two points away. It needs a strike. That is the opposite of a strike. Was almost a, uh, but <laughs> not quite. And so. Came somewhat close to the Emily, but he didn't. Stink frame ruined it for me, but still a 95. My father got better. He's starting to read the lane. He's at an 80. It goes to the computer. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's no option to switch it. So here we are, for game three of four that we normally play, and I'm first. This is the part where the bowling gods give my father the next two, starting with five.
And that's only a three. Disaster start. Yet again, another outing where I can't say there's no steak frame. Half Worcester on the left. it's a six. All he has to do is keep it on the lane on the left half. Just like that. And eight. My, father's my father is becoming like my buddy Juan, forgetting to hit the reset button. guys, but that was dumb luck. That's a spare. People, some people are saying you're too hard on yourself for admitting it's dumb luck. That went way out in the middle of nowhere and everything just happened to fall in the right spots. Since I'm paying too much attention to that and not to that, 
El Stinko. Exact same thing, it fell out of my hand. an episode of Candlepin Stars and Strikes that was aired on YouTube by Alley Chat. They bring up a point. It seems whenever the bonus ball's involved, people do worse. And my half, the 598 spare with nothing. Nice Woolworth. He's got a new palace right. El Stinko delivered its true possibility. Zero. Both times they were zero. The ball completely fell out of my hand. Then the six for 38 half. And here's his spare. And it's the mouse. This half a pair of fours and an eight. And then a five and a spare. He's got at least 31. Thank you. 
to me. Two frames to go and six for mediocrity. Nice ball. Spread Eagle with another broken wing. Too much. Can't blame the tilt, left tilt on that one. Seven. God's middle finger remains for nine. I need seven to hit good. So you know that typically means six, five, or less. Stay on. All right, we got seven. And stop and start the camera. And we're back. And I see something I don't like. Yep, there's a pin stuck in the pit, so I'm going to throw a few balls down. Pin's gone. Everything's clear back there. This plane's been doing so good. Now it's starting to have pins sticking out where it's not supposed to. Again. That was just playing junk for an eight, just made it into good. the hard one. And bowling God's middle finger for nine. Yeah, for me, it's not been the best of runs here because you know it can do a lot better than it been. A172. I still think he's not used to the lane curvature. Brian's lanes are almost perfectly straight. And again, we are on a raised level, so of course it's going to be a little crooked. All right, last game of our match. I won this one because I'm used to the house and he's not. Four 
basement in the nine. a bad shot, it's a nine. That's my move. That's a lot like my that's a lot more like my father's move. Still an okay game. Wow. I think you're too used to Brian's. He doesn't believe it. You can get used to certain places. Then when you go somewhere else, you stink. Remember how I got those the two zero frames way back when watching Suck at Bowling started at New Palace? Just too used to Masons. Goal post free. Knuckle, but look at the wood. If he can just hit the middle. Green juice for everybody, as Dave Mallow would say. You got one. You got nothing. exactly what I was going to say. It, I went exactly where I wanted it to. But getting that spare was yet again dumb luck. A good ball and dumb luck. If I 
Tyler tries to whip one down, and it seemed to have worked, but only that once. Is he going to try that again? No, but he got something out of it. I guess finger of God is an actual bowling term. At least in candle. Okay. So that is an actual term. I'm only calling what you said. Stinko time! Will this one fall out of my hand and goose egg? You do for one. And El Stinko delivers an eight. And favorable wood, which keeps it from being an El Stinko. Out of 10. Now, if the wood was gone, uh, that would have been an official El Stinko ball because of the lead. All right, halftime 979. Spare with an 8 fill and a 10 53. Okay, so because it we got this wall right here. Can't really see much of anything at times. Ah, well. It saved it from being worse. This half is a pair of eights of seven and eight, and the six, 37. seem to throw left, and then when I do, it goes way too far. It's a nine. A little bit of backdoor action helped clear some of it out. That looks good. Hey, there we go. throughout I give myself a three foot line past the lob line as let it live territory 
don't think any of them bobbed all that far, if any did. Ooh, three of the four horsemen. I got three frames to go and only eight to hit good. That should do it two in a row, and it is! from good, two frames left. I pulled something in my right leg. It'll be alright. Four, three, two. Eight fill. Come on. Candlepin turkey. Three marks in a row and Candlepin is a turkey. So he gets another spare and two animations. First the spare and now the turkey. Dead. going to get the turkey in a two-player game. You knew it wouldn't be me. Yet, I'm barely behind. Doesn't matter. Horsemen remain for the six. Five away from average ability. He's filling in yet another spare. Three. El Stinko. The good news is that leaf can still give you a spare and it's fairly doable. Two direct. A spread eagle shot. And seven. At least I hit average ability. And that was my, I didn't really care, so I hucked it and it happens to hit the pin. It's, I'm not upset with the score. 
My father just needs three. Four to win this one. Even if, even if I lose, hey, I want him to get the strike. Come on. And that's not going to happen. And he wins this one. one away I lost but with a 95 do I care not really <laughs> father got the turkey and El Stinko showed up on the third one he could have got triple digits oh well, that's the four games we normally play here at Putnam Street Lanes here in Fitchburg Massachusetts and yeah this is hard to fit in George F551 saying hope you enjoyed and have a good one.